Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Fan Yang, a third year PhD student from the Chinese University of Hong Kong. Uh, I'm excited to present our recent work, ProGrapher, an anomaly detection system based on premise graph embedding. This is a joint work with the University of California, Hawaii, and the same company. Yeah, in recent years, API attacks have rapidly increased. These attacks normally involve intruder groups that establish long-term presence on systems to make sense of data. Uh, they carefully target larger enterprises or governmental networks, causing huge damage. Absolutely, it's a big problem affecting many nations and industries. Understanding API actors' motivations and the motivations and operations is crucial to addressing this threat. As shown in the picture, uh, a typical API attack chain consists of three stages, each with corresponding phases. This is long duration attack patterns differ fundamentally from conventional one shot attacks, making traditional intrusion detection systems unsuitable for APTs because they are better suited for identifying short term anomalies. Uh, to tackle the problem of APT detection, our recent research has highlighted the significance of data parameters, which involves processing system events into uh, causal relationship graphs, providing a comprehensive context of system execution. Uh, this is a graph enable defenders to understand the interrelationships among system entities, allowing for root cause identification from an allow point and exploring subsequent actions. Uh, in summary, data parameters could capture full historical context and causal relationships among system subjects and objects, providing a valuable insight into attack points and traces. Uh, thus, data parameters emerges as a powerful technique for ability detection. Uh, recent, uh, recent researches have explored the use of data parameters for API detection, categorized into two types, heuristic-based approach and, and the learning-based approaches. Uh, heuristic-based approaches rely on expert knowledge and uh, non-attack behaviors to search for the attack patterns or prioritize investigations, but they require a considerable effort from the experts and can be vulnerable to data exploits. On, on the other hand, learning-based approach Approaches employ the machine learning method to classify system entities of different granularities into benign knots. Uh, however, most of existing learning-based approaches struggle to strike a balance between efficiency, accuracy, and granularity, even though they have short permissing detection performance. Uh, in this work, we want to address these limitations. Our solution is based on two key observations. Firstly, each subgraph within a parameter graph could represent a system behavior. Secondly, AP attacks can be exposed by evaluating the likelihood of a system's behavior interacting with the historical behaviors. Uh, because as demonstrated in earlier slides, uh, at least one phase of APT attack chain is likely to exhibit an unusual behavior compared to normal system behaviors. Uh, for instance, if we were observe the system creating a normal web traffic uh, after completing, uh, to, uh, to communicate with the public network after completing local data connection, it would be considered uh, anomalous and uh, may indicate exfiltration. And we can detect such attacks by estimating the likelihood with the causal relationships among system parameters graph at different times. Uh, based on following our motivation, we have established three design goals for ProGrapher. Uh, firstly, to achieve accuracy, ProGrapher should learn normal behavior patterns from the benign logs in an unsupervised learning manner. Secondly, for efficiency, ProGrapher should be capable of processing subgraphs of a whole parameters graph that are separated by periods for and leveraging the temporal dynamics between these periods for detection. Thirdly, for granularity, programs should accurately identify abnormal subgraphs and point out the most suspicious entities with them. To fulfill our three design goals, we propose a programmer. It firstly takes logs generated during sense execution as input and constructs snapshots by aggregating these logs with a constant size. A graph encoder model is then employed to embed each graph into a representation vector, generating a series of graph embeddings that encapsulate the complete history of system execution. Uh, later, an anomaly detection model is trained based on generated graph embeddings, where the model minimizes the prediction loss between normal behavior relationships. Finally, ProGraph outputs abnormal snapshots and identify the directly attack-related system entities. And I will provide a more detailed description of each component in the subsequent slides. First, with incoming logs, ProGraph maintains a cache from the graph. In this graph, vertices represent system entities and edges denote the relations between connected entities, uh, characterized with 10 stamp and even types. For example, as shown in the right figure, the graph consists of four types of vertices, and edges are labeled with 10 stamp and even types. Uh, furthermore, to handle system logs more efficiently, we sample parameters graph every constant size. 
Uh, in details, we define forgetting rate, and when the size of the current cache parameters graph reaches the limit size, we forget all, all these nodes and output the other parameters graph as a snapshot, as shown in the bottom figure. Uh, by doing so, we could recover behavior patterns with the snapshot sequence and control the size of each snapshot. Uh, once the snapshot is built, we need to convert it into a representation vector while preserving key properties like a graph structure information. And then now, with our motivation, we propose selecting subgraphs as features. Uh, another advantage of doing so is that such nonlinear features could provide more powerful representation vectors than linear features like the paths. Uh, to achieve this, we leverage the graph to vector model, which firstly extracts the rooted subgraphs from snapshots and then maximize the, the co-occurrency co co likelihood during training. Uh, in, other word, this in other words, this model increases the, the co the likelihood of each snapshot and its rooted subgraphs, while decreasing the, log uh, the likelihood of not belonging rooted subgraphs. Uh, besides the DRM training, we discovered that the rooted subgraphs generated from large and dense graphs can contain too many redundant labels, and for efficiency, we only retain unique labels for each rooted subgraph by removing duplicate edges and nodes, as shown in this picture. Um, with encoder model, we could convert the sample short sequence into embedding sequence and then move on to how to detect anomalies. During training, given the nice sample short sequence, we apply text RCM model on system sample short embeddings to learn the behavior interactions between each sample short and the historical sample short happened before it. Uh, for example, given the short sequence as one, two, three, we take its one, two, two as input and minimize the prediction loss between predicted S3 and the ground truth S3. Then during anomaly detection, ProGraphs takes as input the, pro, uh, the snapshot sequence and the follow snapshot, which can either be benign or malicious, and then runs the model to compute the prediction loss. If the prediction loss is below the threshold, ProGraph considers it to be benign. Uh, benign. Otherwise, it is abnormal. Uh, after, after obtaining the result from the anomaly detection model, we could further infer the potential malicious root here subgraph. Uh, as, done, as explained earlier, the losses of each snapshot and its root here subgraphs represent their co likelihood. Then for each abnormal snapshot, based on this principle, we could uh, the field out unexpected root here subgraph. As shown in the picture, by employing the well-trained encoder model and the two graph embeddings, we could compute the losses of all rooted subgraph within the abnormal snapshot. And, uh, and then we compute the, we calculate the difference and sort them accordingly. If the difference is substantial, it indicates that the root the subgraph should not occur but are present in the abnormal snapshot with a not low probability. Consequently, we identify such rooted subgraph as suspicious and select top case suspicious rooted sub, subgraphs to provide further investigation for analysts. Uh, to evaluate the effectiveness and efficiency of a programmer, we, we conducted a series of experiments using four simulated datasets and one real-world real world dataset, including three spots, actors, and three sub datasets from top three, one sub dataset from top four, and uh, finally a 90 ideal production dataset collected from sample company. Uh, in our evaluation, we forced to compare a programmer with a unicorn, a state of the art anomaly detection system that analyzes similar system activity graphs. Uh, the table present here, here demonstrates that a programmer and a unicorn could capture almost all attacks, but a programmer exhibits better performance with a higher F1 score and a few false positives. Uh, this reveals that the graph embedding and the temporary modeling employed by programmer are, are crucial for accurately detecting abnormal snapshots. And even in a production environment, programmer can achieve commendable accuracy uh, with a notable example being 94 true positive rate and 14 uh, false positive rate. And, and finally, we evaluated the program on actors they set and once up they set found up four. The results show that the program confers effecti effectively in detecting virus IP attacks in different scenarios. Uh, one of the major distinctions of program from other graph, le graph level systems is its ability to attain uh, to infer attack indicators. As, as demonstrated in earlier slides, for each app abnormal snapshots, we select top, uh, top case suspicious rooted subgraph and return all nodes matching this rooted subgraph as indicators. We then conducted three experiments to evaluate their effectiveness. The results show that by selecting an appropriate number of indicators, ProGraph can provide effective indicators for analysts to read about attack traits, uh, covering most of nodes that are directly related to attacks. 
while significantly reducing the workload of security analysts, which is seven times less than Unicorn. Uh, in addition to experiments mentioned earlier, we also conducted other experiments. Uh, the runtime performance experiments uh, measures the runtime overhead and the scalability of a programmer, and the impact of key parameters shows the influence of key parameters uh, on program's effectiveness. And additionally, the robustness experiments evaluate how robust the programmer is against a random events insertion. And due to 10 constraints, we are able to present the details here, but you can find it in our paper for a comprehensive understanding of a ProGraph's performance. Also, okay, in summary, um, we propose a ProGrapher, an anomaly-based detection system that leverages a unique combination of graph embedding, sequence learning, and indicator extraction technique for accurate and unsupervised detection at the graph level. And with the ProGrapher, we have demonstrated its ability to attain high accuracy in identifying abnormal snapshots while significant, uh, substantially reducing the workload of analysts in pinpointing the root cause of our anomalies. Um, thank you all for your time and attention. Uh, this concludes my talk. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions or would like to discuss further.